All right, guys, big video. Wish body armor versus air guns. I've got a very large portion of my air gun collection all displayed from weaker to stronger. I'll look at the bulldog and wait for it. Surprise. An explosive bow. I'm gonna attempt. Hopefully this works. I don't know if it will. But this wish body armor is supposed to be level 3A rated body armor plate. So I really hope it can stop everything I have to throw at it, otherwise they're lying. Stay tuned. Okay, so first up I'm going to shoot the Crowsman Vigilante 177 caliber CO2 revolver. Not a very strong gun, but worth the shot. Okay guys, so the round hit right there. I hit the F, I actually got lodged in there, which is pretty cool. That's not a good sign though. That is not a good sign at all that the bullet actually dug in there off the weakest gun. Next up, the Umerix Steel Storm. Guys, that was the Umeric Steel Storm. Let's see if I can find. I don't even think. Oh, there it is. Just a tiny little divot. Still a pretty bad sign that those two are making damage to this plate that much. All right, next up is the Gamma Whisper, I believe. Gamma Whisper, guys. Ooh, this might actually be a short video. I mean, that definitely deflected. I don't feel any bending on the back from any of those rounds yet, so that's a good sign, I guess. But we got a long way to go. Next up will be the Crowsman 1322. It is a 22 caliber pellet pistol. Okay guys, so this was the Whisper, and here is the 1322. Did not penetrate, but it still made a pretty nasty, I mean that round stuck in there. Okay, next up I actually think is the Sig Sawyer or Sawa, depending how you pronounce it. MCX Virtus replica. This is a 22 caliber air gun and it shoots at 700 feet per second. So not incredibly strong, but nothing to sneeze at either. All right, guys, so quick change of plans. The M6 Virtus actually jammed up on me for the first time ever. And I don't have the proper equipment right now to unjam it. So we're gonna skip ahead to the Benjamin Bulldog. This probably will be the best chance of penetrating this plate. This will be the real proving ground to see if this is even close to level 3A body armor. Okay, real quick, so I'm going to start with a hollow point from Pro Slugs, the puncher hollow point. And then I'm going to try the penetrator, and then I'm going to try my incendiary penetrator round that I've made up. So, first up, puncher hollow point.
feels different. <laughs> so I'm gonna go off on a limb and say this one was a little different from the others. Jeez. Wow, it actually worked. I mean, it shredded the face, but it only just gently dented it. Okay, so this can stop at least a Benjamin Bulldog hollow point. I'm gonna try the penetrator now, see if that does any better. But after seeing this, I don't think it will. Oh, you have it. Okay, so some more deal. We're starting to feel. No, we're starting to feel just a little bit of denting going on in the back. That's a pretty upsetting sign because this is significantly weaker than a 357 Magnum. The Bulldog is somewhere in between a 22 long rifle and a 9 millimeter for power. Just to give you guys an idea. So I'm gonna try one more shot at it. This will be a penetrator round explosive. Okie dokie. Last round for the Bulldog. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit the same spot ish. I can definitely see it's still, it definitely dented a little bit more, but didn't even get close to getting through. All right, Wish, you won this round. Uh, it, just a little teaser, there's probably gonna be more rounds to come, so stay tuned. And we're gonna now move on. guys all right the first successful exploding arrow on this channel i'm really happy i shot at this wish plate so oh. okay now i i thought for a minute that it feels like there might be a pellet or something inside the plate it's here starting to rain wow that's awesome timing it's just starting to rain and you can see a little bit of scorch mark right here i think so it needs a little bit of perfecting, but I think it did really good.